Welcome to World Bites Friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. I'm Wumi Ademola. Did you know that something very powerful happens every time you fall on your face, you go on your knees, and you worship God from the very depths of your heart? I tell you instantly, every hindrance to prayer goes away, and your miracle is delivered to you without delay, because worship, my friend, is the power that breaks all protocols. And that's what a woman, a Canaanite woman, discovered. Her little daughter had an unclean spirit, and she discovered that by the power of her worship, she was able to break all protocols and get her desired miracle from the Lord. Her story is found in Matthew chapter 15. Let's begin to read from verse 22. The Bible says, And behold, a woman who was a Canaanite from that district came out and with a loud, troublesome, urgent cry begged, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David, my daughter is miserably and distressingly and cruelly possessed by a demon. So her daughter was in real bad shape. And here she was crying with an urgent plea that, Lord, help my daughter. But listen, the Bible now says in verse 23 that Jesus did not answer her a word. All that crying, all that urgency, all that pleading did not do a thing for her in prayer because the word of God says Jesus did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and implored him saying, send her away for she is crying out after us. And so she really became a nuisance. But Jesus now told her in verse 24, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So in other words, he was telling her that woman, I cannot help you because according to the rules, According to protocol, you are not one of the lost sheep of Israel. You are a Canaanite. And so according to protocol, I am not supposed to be attending to you. But this woman, who would not take no for an answer, she did something very, very um, significant in the next verse. Verse 25, the Bible says, But she came and kneeling, worshipped him and kept praying, Lord, help me. So this time she did something different. Instead of being so fervent and all that, the Bible says she knelt down and she worshiped him and she said, Lord, help me. And then this time the Lord answered and said, it is not right. It is not proper, becoming or fair to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And then she now said in verse 27, yes, Lord, yet even the little pups, the little whelps, Eat the crumbs that fall from their young master's table. Then in verse 28, Jesus gives her the answer that she had been wanting from the very beginning. Jesus said, O oh woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you wish. And her daughter was cured from that moment. I tell you, when Jesus said, great is your faith, he was, in other words, saying, great is your worship. There is nothing, no greater expression of faith than your praise, than your worship, than your ability to keep worshiping God, even when it looks like if he is not answering you. Worship is a power that breaks protocol. This woman, even when it first appeared that Jesus was not paying attention to her, even when it seemed as if her prayer was not going anywhere, the Bible says she knelt down, she worshiped, and she kept praying, Lord, please help me. So my friend, by the power of your worship, are you in a desperate situation today? Do you need a miracle? Do you need a breakthrough from God? Does it seem as if God has not been answering you and you're not getting anywhere in your prayers? Well, do what the Canaanite woman did. Worship by the power of your worship, break protocols. And I tell you that just as it was in the case of this precious lady, the Lord Jesus Christ, I tell you, God always responds to worship. The Lord Jesus Christ will respond to you. Every hindrance to your prayer will instantly give way and your miracle, my friend, your miracle will be delivered to you without delay because worship is the power that breaks every protocol. So follow your face and worship the Lord today. Thank you for listening. I do trust you really were blessed. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to this channel, Knowing God Media. Hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when a new episode comes out. And also follow all our social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. God bless you.